or the serious gamer. Hey, it's Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics. This is our Team Deathmatch Tactical Approach video series, and this is Afghan. All right, for Afghan, I use the M16 with red dot, the 1887s with a Kimbo. Uh, I have claymores on and double stun grenades. And as far as my perks go, I use Scavenger Pro, Stopping Power Pro, and Ninja Pro. The uh, final stand thing, whatever, I don't even know. It doesn't really matter. All right, let's get this started. Let's do this. Just to let you know, uh, our tactical approach videos here are not meant to show you run and gunning. They're more of a uh, camp and move, camp and move, kill style. Now, normally I would try and get the tactical nuke. Uh, that's always the objective. However, I've changed the uh, kill streaks on this uh, from tactical nuke, and I switched it up for um, predator missile. Then. I use the Harrier and the Chopper Gunner, only because I very rarely get a tactical nuke on this one during deathmatch. Alright, so as you can see, the first thing that I do, I don't take that the quick jump across. Everyone's looking for that. You know when you come around the back there, and then you leap across the side instead of taking the stairway, which I took. The problem is that usually they're looking for people at the top. They're looking for people that run across that top area. Hardly anyone uses the stairs anymore, so it's a good place to actually use it. And then you're able to sneak up and kill guys like this. What I like to do is I like to... Uh, whoa. Heavy fire, heavy fire. And then what I like to do... And obviously when you see dudes like that, drop to prone. This is why I put on stuns and stuff like that. So that you can do that sort of stuff. Prevent them from uh, coming forward. It gives you a bit of time. I hate getting stunned. A lot of times I get killed because the enemy has stunned me. So... I've learned my lesson and equipped it myself. Now here, <laughs> I don't normally pick up sniper rifles, but I know I'm up on the uh, the perch here, so I figure, all right, I'll give it a shot, see if I can see anything. Oh, uh, anyone? Oh, look at that. And as you can tell, I'm not a very uh, proficient sniper. I take a long time to take the shots. I do not snipe, so have at it if you, if you want to laugh it up. And there's my claymore that went off. This is why I like to place the claymores. They protect me. The reason why I put came back and put the akimbos on is because I figure, you know what? If that claymore went off, he thinks it's protected. Plus, I just made a kill from the top there. Chances are someone's going to be coming. So just in case, I get my akimbos, my 1887s ready, and get ready to blast. Now, what my plan is here, because it, it went off... I'm going to replace that uh, claymore, and that's why I have scavenger on. As they go away, I like to replace them. In tactical approach, I try and take positions where I can actually um, stay put without having to move around a lot. Look at that. I can't believe I actually got a kill. Ah, uh, yes, and I died. But we knew that they were over there. When you place your Harriers and your uh, other airstrikes and stuff, Try and quickly, I mean, don't take a long time, but look at the total opposite, wherever all your teammates are, look on the total opposite end of the map. Like, if you're on the west side, put it on the east side, especially if there's no UAV. I mean, obviously, if there's a UAV, you're going to put it wherever the UAV tells you to put it, uh, or wherever it's showing you uh, that there's guys. But, I mean, in the case that it's not showing you there, and you don't have an enemy, U or, uh, or rather, an, a UAV to show you where it is, simply put it on the opposite end of the map. Don't waste a lot of time. Don't sit there and wait to see where they're coming. Anyone can come up and kill you while you're doing stuff like that. So do it quick. If you don't have UAV, place it on the other side and keep going. You notice I always, whenever I have a claymore, I always put them down. The problem is when you're you're doing deathmatch, a lot of times people will come from opposite ends. you got to reduce where they can actually come from. So if you've got a claymore, place it on one end. Here there's only two ways in. I claim where the one end, I know that I can only get hit by the by this side that I'm on right now. But I also see that my almost my entire team's on that side. So I don't need to watch it, I can concentrate on the other end. The problem I got out of there because the sniper had had the beat on me there and was taking hits at me. So again, I'm gonna circle around. It's always staying on perimeter. Do I don't like taking the inside. There's too many sight lines that enemies can take you from high end perches. And all that other, you know, like the other uh, sniper areas. Again, as I showed, I'm taking the stairs. I don't like taking that upper area there. Too many people take it. Now I'm going to, I can creep down here and slowly make my way up. And this is why I do that. 
obviously looking at that perch uh, I was looking for that uh, 50 cal but obviously too much time had passed but you never know well there's the enemy placing uh, placing their airstrike airstrikes are horrible I mean it could have been a, a package I don't know I wasn't paying attention regardless airstrikes are not very effective granted when you're starting out Use them whatever you can, but use the tip that I told you. Just do opposite end, and then that's it. When you're coming along here, be careful. Look for guys in the back there. You see, I, I notice a guy right there. Typically, they're hiding in the back. If they're, you know, a half-decent team, they're going to be looking for people like me that just came in there. And when I'm injured, you see I'm injured, I'm not going to be too aggressive. I'm not going to be moving in while I'm seeing that jelly on my screen. Yes, yeah, it's supposed to be blood, but it looks like strawberry jam. So I wait till I heal and then I move forward. Now I got my kill streak here. I'm kind of in a bad position because the guys are all around me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a high end position here. Clear the area first before I call in that predator because when you call it in, obviously your whole screen you can't see. Now I'm in a corner here. It's not a very well, it's not the greatest spot, but my back is towards them all. So, ooh, got a little lucky there. Sweet. Call in the Harrier, same spot. We want to call it in back there. We know that they're in there because the whole team's forward. So there's no point in staying back. And there's the chopper gunner. Again, arguably I might have been able to get a tactical nuke on this one. I just, you know, it's not my strongest uh, map. So I just wanted to actually get some high kills with the tactical approach. And that's why I called in the ones I did. Predator missile, usually an easy one to two kills. I got lucky. I got three, I believe. Um, and then the Harrier, and then the Chopper Gunner. Now you notice when I'm back here, because I've got my Harrier out, I'm not going to call in a Chopper Gunner. Don't, even if you get the Chopper Gunner, like, right after, or you get lucky with that Harrier, don't call it in. Let the Harrier do its work first. Let whatever your perk is finish off. If they destroy it, then call it in. But there's no point in you killing something a person with a chopper gunner that the Harrier likely would have killed anyway. So wait till that Harrier has done its job, then call in your chopper gunner. And it's the same thing with all the other kill streaks. Call them in, let them do their job first, then call in the next kill streak. Don't waste them because you may be, you know, killing targets that could have been handled by the other kill streak. And in here, obviously, constantly scanning, looking for uh, individuals that light up. A lot of them take cover. I mean, if you're smart, you take cover. Just remember, not all cover uh, provides you with, you know, an impenetrable fortress. If you're in, like, that little sh uh, shack there, that's not going to protect you. You need to be behind some solid walls. That guy, I don't know what that guy was doing. They pl placed me, actually, right in the spawn area, which was just fabulous. <laughs> These guys, I was just mowing them down. So it was kind of funny. Um... Yeah, overall, I think I end up with 44 and 2 or something like that. Chopper Gunner was very effective. Once I'm done there, I'm going to move. And I, I all I do is I constantly circle around the outside, but I stick and move, stick and move. I mean, if I'm running gun, I'm just running like a madman. Uh, I use basically the same path, but you just want to be careful. If you're going for high kills, don't run around like you think you're going to nail everyone. So again, I put the akimbos on while I'm running down here in case I have any close encounters. Once I get up to the top, I switch back to my assault rifle because that is what's going to get me the kills. Two little suckers up here. Dudes are not watching. This is why claymores are so effective. And the last kill here, I get a little lucky. I place it down and it's my last reach from the depths of hell and I kill and I get the, the game winning kill here. But I always set up my claymores. I'm going to cut off areas here. And there we go, the game-winning kill with a claymore from the dead. If you're not a big fan of camping and moving, we also have a run-and-gun series on Afghan. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. For more strategies and tactics on Modern Warfare 2, visit nextgentactics.com.